Hi, today I want to talk about, uh, I want to proceed to talk about how to design a primer. I already made two more videos, you may find those videos in the uh, genetic engineering playlist. So today a uh, topic would be uh, no long runs with the same base. And what I mean, for example, consider such uh, sequence as a, T, C, G, 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 A, T, C, A. And as you probably notice here, we have uh, repeat five times of the base guanine. And uh, what this might lead to, uh, for example, let me take only this fragment of the uh, our primer and uh, let's base pair it with a DNA strand so this is going to be DNA and here is going to be our fragment uh, 5 repeat of the guanine base and this two strands going to form double stranded DNA and here is going to be primer strand so as you notice one base doesn't have a pair so uh, let me redraw this uh, once again so this is going to be DNA strand and here is primer so one base uh, would bulge would bulge out from um, this DNA strand and this also called um, breathing of the primer so we should uh, avoid such situation uh, because this uh, lead to loss of yield of the final product and uh, this is basically all for today uh, this was short video and uh, if you have a time I might uh, remind two more rules that I explained it in my earlier videos so if we call this rule number three so rule number two would be uh, use the formula for uh, designing two uh, primers and formula is uh, temperature of melting equals 4 multiplied by C plus G plus 2 A T A plus T so if we have uh, two primers and this is one strand of DNA, this is another, and we have one primer here, and here is another primer. We should understand that uh, temperature of melting of these two primers should be the same. And uh, of course, uh, this is uh, two primers, the sequence uh, shouldn't be the same, because uh, primers on the different uh, strands of DNA and uh, one of the primer may, be, may have more A and T's and another more C and G's and if the length would be the same then it would lead to different melting temperatures because C and G have uh, three hydrogen bonds and A and T has uh, two hydrogen bonds so we have to calculate the length and adjust the length of uh, primers so the um, temperature of melting would be the same and uh, basically it means that temperature of melting is when we have 50% uh, of our uh, DNA in the double-stranded form and 50% of the DNA we have as single DNA 
So uh, this is called temperature of melting. And the rule number one would be to design our primer between 17 and 30 uh, bases because 17 base pairs give us 17 billion uh, bases when uh, our primer would anneal only in one place. So basically for the human genome such primer would have only one place to anneal and we also may use such uh, program as BLAST if we go to the NCBI website and uh, of course we can use uh, this program to BLAST uh, our primer to find if it has a complementary sequence only for the known and sequenced uh, genomes like human genome or mice genome or dog's genome. So this is basically all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and you may find uh, these two other videos in my playlist about genetic engineering. Thank you. Goodbye.